Hey everyone, um, this is Ned, one of our large male lace monitors. He's 11 years old now. He's also the father of a lot of offspring that we bred here at Auckland Zoo, so he's quite a successful boy. Um, he's nice and hungry today, so we're going to give him a bit of a workout and uh, see if we can get him moving around and getting active. We're going to prepare a bit of food for our lace monitors. Possums are a pest species here in New Zealand, um, so there's something that's sustainable for us to use. They're also a natural food item um, for our lace monitors. We do like to give them exercise, and so if we have uh, multiple small pieces of food, we can get them to run around a bit more than one large piece of food. We feed these guys seasonally. Uh, winter time we might feed them once, maybe twice a week, depending on how things are going. Summer times, two or three times a week. They don't need to eat all the time. They're ectotherms, they're very efficient, and uh, food goes a really long way with them. And we got that, and we're ready to go. Come on, Ned. The benefits of exercise for these guys is that they are an active pursuit predator. Obesity is a problem, and so we have a diet that's quite controlled with the amounts that we feed out, and we like to get them nice and active to try and uh, counteract that as well. You got it, bud. The name lace monitor comes from their pattern. If you look at your typical lace monitor, you'll see lots of little dots and things, and people thought that that looked like lace. And in Australia, they call them goannas. Come on, Ned. Let's go. Let's go. Lace monitors are considered to be arboreal, or at least partially arboreal. If you look at them, you can see they have massive claws. They're really sharp and they use them to climb trees basically. When you're a little lace monitor, a lot of things in Australia want to eat you, so it's a good time to be nice and safe and up a tree. When you're a large animal like Ned here, um, you're a little bit more confident because you're starting to become a sort of top level predator where other things won't mess with you as much. If you look at a lace monitor tongue, you'll see that it's forked, similar to a snake tongue, and so the two forks of the tongue are flicking out and collecting molecules, just like we are when we're smelling things. They use that to track animals. And if they're following a trail and it's stronger this way, they'll go that way. If it's stronger on this side, they'll go that way. And that way they can uh, get to the end of the trail and it might be a bad day for whatever they uh, meet at the end. Let's go, buddy. That behavior when they stand up like that is called tripoding. And um, male monitors will do it to intimidate each other. They also do it if they're gonna wrestle. And sometimes they'll do it as a defensive mechanism too to try and look big and scary and uh, hopefully uh, chase off whatever's threatening them. You wanna come up the tree now, bud? That's all we've got for Ned today. He has a lot of energy and a lot of uh, get up and go initially, um, but he also will uh, slow down quite quickly and get tired and basically it's time for him to go and bask and relax for the rest of the day now. Our lace monitor habitat here at Auckland Zoo works really well for these guys. It helps to replicate in an environment that's really similar to Australia. Here in Auckland we are at a similar latitude to where lace monitors come from in Australia but our climate isn't quite right. So we have the ability to open and close the roofs on this habitat, and it means we get those nice nighttime drops, but we get a really hot, high temperature during the day, which is a lot similar to what they get in Australia. We did have a breeding program here at Auckland Zoo for our lace monitors. It was really successful. We bred over 50 uh, individuals that ended up um, going to other accredited zoos around the world. Uh, we've now wound down that program, we're not currently breeding, and that's because the genetics of these particular animals are really well represented now. I really like lace monitors. They are a little bit more intelligent than probably other lizards that you work with. Um, they definitely keep you on your toes, you need to be careful working around them. They've all got different personalities and their interactions with different individuals are different, and um, they're really fun, I love working with them.